Okay, guys, we're going over underpassing. Donnie Blue, I know that you wanted me to do underpassing to the truck. We'll do that on Nogi Night, okay? Right now, we're just going on fundamentals and a couple different games that we did and warm-ups and, and, and techniques for the class. Let's talk about egg beaters. We're beating eggs. We've got foot circles going or egg beating, okay? Let's kind of go at an angle here. So, come to me a little bit. Everything is about space. If I, if I give him space, he will escape. If I, can, if I can collapse his space, it's hard for him to get his guard back, okay? So the space has to do with a couple things. It has to do with my elbow being away from my armpit. If, I, if, I'm like, if I'm like this, I'm good. But if I'm like this, he starts to get those feet in there, right? Uh, I can hang on his legs and they can, they can be on my biceps or I can sh shelf them onto my neck. Entirely different, okay? But first thing I want to talk about here is I'm just going to pummel in so that I get double underhooks. Close the space, and then he's gonna wiggle out, hip escape, and egg beater back in. So we're both doing egg beaters, but I'm using arms, he's using feet, okay? So I come in, elbows are in, I go under, under, and look how I elbow his Achilles. Like, a, bam, I'm doing an upcut elbow. Krav Maga, upcut elbow, okay? So I'm here, and I lift it onto my neck. I lift it onto my neck. It's an easy way to do it. And I start to close the space, whether I hold the belt, I hold the collars, I have his wrists, I'm gable grips. Whatever the case may be, I've closed the space with my chest. I've closed the space with my chest over his center line or his belt. Okay? Then he'll wiggle away. Then he starts to swim his feet in. Egg beaters. Bam. Good. And here I am. Inside, inside. Wiggle, wiggle. Now I got him loaded. Now my elbows are inside to my hips. He wiggles away. Egg beaters, egg beaters. Bam. Cool. Elbows, elbows. Pommel, pommel. Close the space. He moves. Egg beater, egg beater. I'm in here, elbow, elbow. Close the space, he moves away. Egg beaters, egg beaters. Elbow, elbow, lift, lift. Inside, close the space. We're doing that back and forth across the mat as a warm up. Egg beaters, foot circles, whatever you want to call it. But I guess I'm not doing foot circles. I'm doing wax on, wax off. We'll just call it egg beaters. Pop. Okay, the next part. That was just pummeling in on my knees, staying underneath on my knees. Now it doesn't matter if you're a Toriando passer, let go. It doesn't matter if you're a Toriando passer, I like to move around the legs, right? Somehow moving around the legs. Doesn't matter if you like to slice knees this way or this way or coming through the guard, right? You're coming into the guard or you're going underneath. Whether you want to lift, go underneath or over, under, right? I'm coming through the guard. So I'm going under, through or around. Those are the only ways in which you're gonna go past the guard, right? But everybody has the same responsibility and that's to open up the ankles. You gotta open up the ankles. Doesn't matter what kind of guard pass you are, everybody still has to unlock the ankles. In my opinion, standing is the best way to do it. Let's talk about hand fighting. He's over here trying to grab my collar. We can play this game, I can pop the collar, pass, and I start to stand, I got two on one control. No Kimura, guillotine, arm bar. Pendulum, flower, scissor, bump, own plata, whatever you can think of from here is not going on while I have two on one control. Okay? Then I'd like to be able to stand. If you don't want to play with just the hand inside the collar and being a second behind and doing that, you can do that as well. But the way we're also doing is he grabs my collar. I'm just blocking the hand. Grab my collar. I'm blocking the hands. I'm physically blocking his hands. You can also grab the four fingers. I do that a lot. Try and pull your hand out. Keep going. Use your other hand. It's very difficult. Not just because I'm stronger than Garrett. It's a hard grip to break. Actually, you can grab three and I'll be to Jeff. Four is all, even better. But if I block his actual hand, he can't make a grip. Even a nogi, he wants to grab my wrist, right? So if we're here and he's hand like trying to grab my hands, right? And I start blocking his physical, actual fingers and hands, I can start to pass and make it easy without him making a grip. Something simple for you to think about. Either way, I get his arm and I pass it across his body. I'm gonna grab the sleeve, the hook grip with one hand. And I've got it here. I want you to notice and I'm putting his arm over there as far as I can. Don't just stick it in the center of the body. Over there as far as I can. I can step up right next to his shoulders. All of these, pat these sweeps where he grabs my ankles, right? those kind of, those, they're not there when I have control of one of his arms. He's only got one leg to grab. So I'll stand up right next to his, I'll stand up right next to his shoulder as much as possible. Boom, right next to it. Look at my other foot, my right foot. As I step up, it goes from being on my laces to being on my toes. Now I keep this inside right here as much as I can down towards the ground. I rotate up, and then I'm going to pull up. See, he's going to want to go grab that. 
But see how my, his arm being across underneath his armpit prevents that? Here, go grab it. Right, he starts to do that. Either way, it doesn't matter. When I want to, I'm going to lift, I'm going to pull, elbow on the inside, palm up. So my elbow's like hitting the inside of his thigh. Can't push his leg on top of my thigh, so I back that leg up. Normally, I would just enter in, but today, I'm landing, hands on the mat. That's all I'm doing. I just want to get there. Let's do it again. So while we're standing, doing this 20 times, whatever, 10 times a piece, doing it for five minutes, either this way or grab my collar. I block with the hand, I pass, I'm here. Just put your hand straight to the ground. Kick one up on your shoulder and stop. Okay? Remember, we're lifting with our elbow. Almost like shucking an underhook in half guard. Okay, so we're just doing that quickly. I'm here. All right, grab. Maybe I do it this way. Pop, pass. Hand on the ground. Hands go straight down. Shelf one, up on the neck. Make sure that knee's touching the air. Do that again, 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 again. Real fast, real fast, okay? Boss. Sport aspect, guard aspect of, uh, uh, of pulling guard. How are guys gonna pull guard? There's different ways to pull guard. I could grab the collar and sleeve and I'm stretching them out, right? I'm trying to put the foot on the hip whether I'm playing like classic guard, whether I'm trying to play De La Hiva, butterfly, whatever guys are gonna do. They can also like, they can also just grab a sleeve and start to come in, right? They can grab a collar, right? They can, they can grab a collar. Not necessarily, if a guy's good at guard, he doesn't really care if it's Deli Hiva or a spider. He can try to get one, of course, but he can also just, you know, just, just grabbing and just pulling guard. He's just going to try and get the party started. He's not necessarily pulling a strong Deli Hiva or a strong spider or a strong butterfly. He's just getting the party started by grabbing and pulling. And he's also, you got to feed, you got to feel the language, the body language. Levi's super low and crouched over. Like he looks like, he doesn't look like he's trying to take me down. He's looking like he's gonna pull guard in an instant. You know what I mean? I've got the taller body language. He's worried about me foot sweeping him before I get, he gets the guard because I'll take him down. He's worried about me taking him down. He's worried about like ankle and collar tie picks. So he's just trying to make contact and he just sit on his butt. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's really, he's really trying to do. Last but not least, he can jump up, right? Which means in the air. Jumping guard and pulling guard, Two different things. One's airborne, you're, you're gonna hit a fire hydrant. Bam. <laughs> the other one is uh is pulling to your back. Okay, so when this happens, we go back to the last video you just saw, right? Popped open the ankles and then I like this. I'm trying to go with my hands as close as I can to my knees, making sure they're inside of his legs. I'm just stiff arm like this. I'm not trying to find his leg or get the underpass going. Soon as he, I can see the posture, Levi back up a little bit, he comes out, we clap hands, and all of a sudden he just lowers. And I'm like, oh, this guy's not going to do any. All right, so I know he wants to come in. As soon as he gets that collar, I'm just dropping my arms down. Just try and get your arms dropped down. Notice I ended up with double unders. If I try and get his legs going, here we go. And I try and finagle his legs, I feel like you're going to get caught up in a game. Look, look how I just... You know, I'm not trying to reach for grips right there. I'm literally just trying to keep my hands next to my knees. Make sense? We did that 10 times a piece too. Pause. Side shuffling. Elbows in. Side shuffling. Posture doesn't move. Right? I'm not bouncing my head. But in reality, I'm not crossing my ankles. And my elbows are close to my ribs. That's the footwork when I'm doing the underpass. Double unders, AKA whatever, right? So I get this leg underneath. If he's getting heavy hipped here, I'm going to punch with my elbow. You got to remember that. I'm punching with my elbow up and then I'm sliding it down so that it comes down onto my neck, the leg next to my ear, touching the knees, touching my ear. And I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite his, I'm going to bite his hip with my elbow. This elbow right here is biting his hip. Do not pass this elbow in front of him like this. He'll push my elbow and he'll escape, right? Thank God for Marcelo Garcia. He gave us that good escape. He's really pushed it. Other people do it too, but that's who I particularly watched it does it a lot. That elbow push escape, which means that if I get down inside here, right, and I reach across, classic, this is the classic, this is the classic pass. Let's show the classic pass for I'm here, I reach across nice and deep, I wanna choke him, elevate him, I'm lifting the hips, I side shuffle, I let him go by, beautiful, I get the head control, I'm in side control. But that traditional pass, it's great 
if he never pushes my elbow. He'll push my elbow, okay? So I've got to stay bit down. So as I start to get underneath here, I'm biting down with this elbow. I'm not going to expose it to him. Hand places on the mat. I go from this position, and I'm going to drive like I'm going cheek to cheek. Now I've shift, shifted from laces to toes because I'm getting ready to drive here. Now I go forward, and then I can side shuffle. Look, I don't expose my elbow still. Hand stayed over here next to the mat. Boom, I'm here. I'm already on top. Nice and low on top of them. I'm still on my toes. I can have this kind of guard. Line up my forearm and my femur. Right, I can do that. Let's turn a little bit. I'm underneath here, right? I get this guy shelved up onto my arm here. I'm biting down real hard with my elbow on my toes. I drive forward, side shuffle, pushing with his hand, side shuffle. One more. Come inside. Huh. Get here, closing his face, elbow up, shelf it, toes. Notice, I'm really biting down real hard right here. I can't get over that enough. I'm biting down real hard. It's not up here. It's not here. It's not here. It's all the way down next to his thigh. I slide. When I, when I shelf this thing, when I lift it up and I shelf it, my forearm slides down his hip and grabs. So that he feels the pressure of my forearm getting folded into his gut. Here I can cause pressure, guys, but he doesn't feel it in his abdominum. Abdominum. Abdominum? Abdominal. Abdominal. <laughs> right? And, his, and the forearm and the stomach as much. Here he feels it a lot. Oh, a lot of pressure. A lot of stack. Now, a lot of guys have problems here throwing with the head. Side shuffle. It's all in that footwork. Grab that material right here. Shoulder pressure. Knee in the hip. Blocking the guard. Good to go. Underpass. Over under. Things are going wrong with my underpass. I'm going to go to the over underpass. I do this a lot. I drive a lot of shoulder pressure into the solar plexus, pinning his hips, blah, blah, blah. I'm underneath here. I've got the underpass, and I need to shift one side over. Whether I go like this, this tends to shift that side over. Okay? So when I come up here like this, I throw, just by putting one up here, one knee tends to stay here. Okay? Or I could just shift a little bit and try and get his leg over to one side. Now, at the same time, I'm going to go over with my leg, and over with my arm. So now I'm going over. Now watch my head. My head shifts to the other side. I grab underneath his leg. I'm on my toes again. And then I drop. Boom, I'm up. So now if I go this way, if I'm trying to pass this way already, Levi can start turning into me, hip escape. And it'll really, to hip escape, but it'll screw me up this way. So you saw how I was in an angle. I'm gonna walk him straight. That's the key to it. So. Let's start again. I'm under. Try and keep your hands at like T-Rex so you can see a little better. There you go. So I'm going to the side, right? Maybe I shift. Got his leg over there. I'm going to start to step over, overhook, and touch my head to the other side. All right? My chin goes inside. I prop. Now here's the key. I walk. Walk him straight. So now we're in line. And I can shift over his leg, shelf it, and then I just run. And I have pressure. I let go. I hold the hips. And I'm now on top of him. Now I can start to try to come up on top. But I embrace the fight, holding his hips and still holding his hips in his pant right here. Because he's hip escape. Go. I can, I can expect this as soon as I pass. Sometimes if I jump to his head, he goes. That's the truth of it. One more. This way, this way. From here. Shift. Grab. Watch my hand. I'm going to grab the underneath behind his knee. Prop. Walking, walking, walking. Hold this. I'm just holding his hips with my elbows. I'm going to go a little while, a little bit. That's how I need that hairy. One more. Back side view here. Little entrance into over under pass. I do a lot of things like this too. We'll talk about this in different videos. Trapping his leg, binding it with a grip, 
I do that over under style passing a lot as well. Okay, but we'll do that in other videos. Thank you. Thank you, Levi. Thank you, Jared. Be quick to just network. Oos! <laughs> Can you stop it? Yeah, it went. Ah.